Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video, we're going to be doing a Q and A. So, um, yeah, that's always cool. Um, this is just a random Q and A with a bunch of questions from a bunch of different people, and I do these once a year. Well, two times a year. One on my other channel, one on this channel. So here's this year's one for this channel. I already did the other one like in the beginning of the year on the other channel. Anyways, the first question is from my friend Stretch. And he asks, what is your biggest pet peeve? Um, I hate when people lie or exist in general. I hate interacting with people. But yeah, lying is a big pet peeve. I'd rather know bad news honestly than hiding something terrible. The next question is from Ethan, who is Miracle's boyfriend. He asked, what's your favorite show? Um, my favorite TV series is probably Elite on Netflix. Next question is from my mom. She said, are you going back to school, like a trade school or college? And the answer is no, I'm probably never going back to school. Especially if I'm dying, because, you know, my health is deteriorating, so. The next two questions are from my cousin. He asked me what's your favorite game and I asked him if he meant video game or board game to clarify but he said both. So my favorite video game is the Mortal Kombat games, Mortal Kombat 9 to be specific. And my favorite uh, board game is Monopoly. And then his next question was what is your favorite thing to do in your pastime? Listen to music, watch movies make YouTube videos. The next three questions are from my friend Miracle. She asked, what's my favorite childhood memory for the first question? Um, I don't really know. I have lots of memories, but my brain has been kind of foggy ever since I had these problems. Um, probably the Diamondback game. That I went to with my dad. I don't know if I've said that before in a video. Question two is what's my dream vacation? I really want to go to Australia or Florida. One of those two places. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? My answer used to be Australia, but after learning about healthcare systems in this world, because they suck, I pretty much want to go to Canada. And they have a better healthcare system, especially better than America. I think I have a bump on my tongue. I'm not. It kind of hurts. Anyways, the next question is from my friend Mac. He asked me what's my favorite Tamina attire. Her Royal Rumble 2018 one. It's all white. That one's my favorite Tamina attire. Uh, my dad is the next person who asked me a question. He asked, do you think you'll ever be married and do you think you'll have children? Yes to both, as long as I don't have a terminal illness right now and I die. But yes, I plan on getting married sometime in the future, I don't know who. And I used to not want kids, but now I kind of do, so. Obviously not right now, maybe like when I'm 30, but that's better than ever. Um, my sister Brandy, she asked, what is my favorite animal? So my favorite wild animal is probably a fox. So, yeah. The next question is from my sister's friend, Albert. He asked, what is the greatest purpose in life? If you die, what legacy have you left behind? I don't have a legacy. I have pets, like Rosalie, who lives with my sister, and then we got Reginald in the other room. And the greatest purpose in life is probably just to be happy. The next question comes from one of my family members. I'm not sure how I'm related to her. She asked, do you have any hobbies? Obviously, YouTube is on. That well, sounds like my boyfriend's back inside. So right now I'm making my boyfriend food. Uh, it's chutty, so and eggs. But um, <clears throat> the next question is from my sister's husband, Josh. He 
asked if I won four backstage passes to any wrestling event in the next three years, and I can only take three people, and it has to be family, uh, relatives, blood, blood, who would I take, and who would I get the last ticket to? Um, I take people in my family who actually like wrestling, so my uncle, my dad, and my nephew. And the last ticket will probably go to my nephew. And then the next question he asked is, if you could pick anywhere to live in the world, where would it be and why? Um, as I said earlier, anyway, is that my camera just shut off because it had storage issues? Um, the answer is Canada, <clears throat> because of the healthcare system. I said that earlier. Uh, it used to be Australia, but now it's Canada. The next questions, the thir these are 13 questions. <laughs> They're from my friend David from Fortnite. Anyways, um, his first question is... If you had the choice, who would die first? Would it be you or Ryan? Um, okay, he's staring at me judgmentally. Um... I'd say Ryan, because he's older, so he has already, like, ten years ahead of me, almost. Eight. Yes, he has eight years, which is close enough uh. to ten. So, that is my answer. Um, from your own personal experience, oh my god. Um, I'd probably say guys. Um, the next question is, what are the best and worst parts of living with your partner? Um, the best is that you always have someone to talk to, and... You know, how you're daily socializing without having to go outside. And then the worst part is that they usually have something very annoying about them that you have to deal with, and it's a constant day-to-day -day thing, so that that would be a worst part. Wouldn't you agree? Um, anyways, okay. his next question was, do you support Stop Asian Hate? I mean, I guess, uh... Nobody deserves to really be hated on, so. Especially when they're getting killed and beat up for it. Sorry, I'm still making the food. I think it's about to be done, actually. So. The next question is Who are my favorite Asian celebrities? Um, mostly wrestlers like Io Shirai and Asuka and Kairi Sane, Zaya Lee, Mia Yim. There's a lot of Asian wrestlers that I like. Shinsuke Nakamura. Um, the next question is, who is Justin Mon? It's our friend Justin. I think he was trolling with that question. Um, his next question was, do you think Kathleen deserves to be loved? Who is our other friend? Um, that answer is no. Because she's a lesbian. Um, anyways. His next question was, if you could go back in time, what would you say to Miley Cyrus before she went on stage for her infamous 2013 VMAs performance? Um... I would tell her to grow her hair out because it's kind of ugly looking. Um, the next question is, have you lost any close friends in the last year? He just wanted me to spill the tea on Matthew. Um, yes, me and Matthew are no longer friends. Because he said that Ryan looked like a rude word. So, we are not friends anymore. Um, his next question was, am I going to get vaccinated? Obviously not. I'm already having health problems. Don't need to die. Can I mean, you get vaccinated? That could be, you know, uh, counterintuitive. In a way, but we don't know yet. No, I'm not an anti-vaxxer. I'm not an anti-masker. I'm anti-ignorance. The knowledge and evidence is out there, and it is not support any reason for me to do either of those two things. If I do find evidence to the contrary, I will be willing to change my mind in a heartbeat, i.e. people dropping dead in the street. You won't even see me out there wearing a mask. I'll just be out there with a gun if I'm out there at all, and I'll shoot anyone who comes close to me. Well, that's fine. Well, um, <laughs> David's last question was, does God hate the gays? Which I'm pretty sure he's asked that in another video, actually. Yeah, I'm going to say nah, fam. Next question is from my friend Avery. She asked, how did me and my boyfriend meet? 
and uh, what's life like with us two, and is our relationship healthy? So we met on Grinder. That's not a healthy way to meet. <laughs> um, and then we just fell for each other in like a year span of time, and that's how we are. How is life like with us two? It sucks being in this house. <laughs> that it's a long story all in itself. So that's a mutual, mutual feeling, though. And then is that relationship healthy? Uh, it can be, and it can be toxic, but that's like everybody's relationship. Yeah, I was going to say, we have our ups and downs, and I think we've worked through most of our downs, so we've been on an upward trend lately. Within like a past two weeks? <laughs> no, more like the last month. Maybe, I can't remember anything because I'm no, sick. No, but yeah, it's been like a month. The next question is from my friend Skylar. She asked me, what place would you like to travel to? If you could do anything in the world, what would it be? Um, if it's just traveling, I said, I want to go to Australia. I, I want to see all the animals. And I also want to go to Florida because they also have a bunch of reptiles and they have Disney World. Uh, if I could do anything in the world, what would it be? I don't know, make an album. And making an album would be really fun to do. Agreed. I just, I, I don't know if I have a good enough voice, and nowadays you don't even need a good voice, you just need good auto-tune and editing, so that's that. Um, there's only two questions left, well three, because my boyfriend asked two. His first question was, how many times have I fucked you in the ass? Um, that's inappropriate, but, uh, I don't know, too many times to count. If I had a guess, I'd say maybe about 80. He thinks more. That's just my guess. And then his next one was, how many times have you swallowed my jizz? Yes, he's I being inappropriate. You You're the one who asked the questions. Oh, well, you should know me. Um, I don't know. It's been a lot less times than anal. Because I, I have problems with swallowing, but um, lately I've gotten better, so I'd say probably about 30, 40 <laughs> in that oh range. God. And then the last question is from my friend Kayla. Thanks for this question, Kayla. How many times have you topped your boyfriend? Um, I'd say about 30 to 40 as well. Yes, because... Lately, I've been the one topping mostly, and... I'd say 20 at most, but we can work on that. And this is something, like, new-ish. I mean, we met, like, two years ago. We were doing stuff two years ago, so he's had a head start. And I didn't start topping until recently, so... And that's that. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Lots of interesting questions. Those last three were very inappropriate. Why are you going to include that shit on your YouTube? I thought it was a family-friendly channel. Uh, apparently it's not, because my family don't even watch most of the time. I am shook that my sister, Sarah, did not ask me a question this time. I am hurt. We're going to have to embargo her. I don't know what that means. Cut her off. Oh. Uh, yep. <laughs> nope, she's doing Secret Santa. Tomorrow's her video, by the way. Uh, drop it. <laughs> no. Um... <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe. I hope my babe is enjoying his food. Yes, and delicious breakfast. And he should be a world class cook. Okay, he is stretching, but thank you. Well, okay. It took you a while, but you learned from the best. Wink. Um, I do not see Martha Stewart in here cooking, so sorry. Okay, you know what? I'm just kidding. I don't I'll even throw know. throw this shit in the trash. I don't even know who Martha Stewart is. Oh, goodbye. Go, go, go.